Hello, here's a quick video to show you how to set up IK for your characters with a little foot control, but it's very basic and very simple and quick. So let's select our, press A to select them all and Alt R will reset the rotations. Alt G will reset any transforms. You should really set up your IK before you skin your character, but in this case, I'll be able to show you the effects that it has straight away. So what we'll do, we'll get rid of our character up here. So we've just got the bones left. Now for this, I'll need two new bones. So I'm gonna to go to edit mode and side view. I need to have a bone coming out of here and a bone coming out of here. So let's select there, make sure I've got the right one, not the back one, and extrude out there. And then select the knee, make sure I've got the knee, and extrude out there. If you do this before you rig, you must make sure that in your bones, that these two bones don't deform your mesh so they won't have an impact on your mesh when you parent the bones to the mesh. The same with this one, get rid of the deform. And lastly, we need to clear the parent. So Alt P, clear parent, and Alt P, clear parent, so that it's not fully connected to the armature. For this one, I'm gonna pull it out, and that's what the knee will be pointing at, and that's called the pole, and this one is the target, so it will stay there. Next, we go into pose mode, and we select the bottom of the chain as it's called. So if you have lots of bones and you're doing a snake or something, you'll select the last one in the chain. That's where we go over to the bone constraints and select inverse kinematics or IK. Now I've just said the chain is two. There's our chain, there's two in it. So we make sure we've got two in our chain. Now this is why it's important to label your bones. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to edit mode and label my bones so I know exactly which one I'm choosing. Okay, so now I've got that, I can go back to this leg in pose mode and go back to the inverse kinematic section. So the bone constraints and inverse kinematics here. And now, so let's say I'm restarting, choose my armature, my bone, and this time I can see it because it is ik.target.l for the target here. Okay, and here we go for the pole. In fact, I'll show you what that does. If I grab that, I can now move my leg there we go. But it's, it's always pointing forward, and if I want to change where the knee is pointing, then I need it to attach to this pole. So I'll undo my grab there, or my transforms by Alt-G, back to this bone here, and select the pole target. So armature, and we scroll down to IK pole.l. There we go. Now this might happen to you as well. It turns your bones around. That's just the pole angle, and you need to set it so it points at your pole target there. And usually 90 will do the trick. Okay, now if I move this, it swivels the leg. There's one more thing we can do and that's set up a, set up a simple foot roll because at the moment if I go to side view and I move this around, the foot stays pointed downwards. So if we go back into edit mode and in side view, I'll click left click down here so my bone will appear here, shift A to add new bone, and grab and pull this down. And this is actually gonna be our control bone now. I'll make sure in front view it's in the right place. So select our bone and pull it across so it's underneath our foot. So back to side view there. And we need to connect this um, leg up to this bone. We select the target and our new bone and press control P and keep offset. And now if I go to pose mode, I will be able to grab and move this around. And that's my new, instead of my target, I've got this big bone here to click on and move things around. The last thing we want to change is the fact that if we select our bone here and we pull it away, the foot detaches from the leg. And we don't want that. So I'll press Alt G to remove my transform. Now I must know the name of this bone here for this to work. And it is called leg2.l. That's why it's important to label your bones. And let's select this bone, and we're adding a constraint. So we go to the bone constraints, and we're gonna add a copy location. And we are copying from the armature, and the bone, as we just pointed out, is leg2.l. It goes to the top of the bone, but you can just change that with the head and the tail settings here. Okay, and put that all the way to one. Now when I grab this, it stays attached. And there's our basic IK with a bit of foot roll. I hope that helps.